guitar, guitar. She would tell you a lot of stories And she'd go on and on At the good old days she knew Every person has their scars Her stories that make you fall to pieces from a little old town. We hit the road, coming down to Fort Worth, Texas. Billy Bob's the biggest gig in town. From the honky tonk stage to the big city lights to the Grand Ole Opry on a Saturday night. Grab a chair and sit right down. She would. There we go. That was, of course, Frankie Justin, and that was a lovely track there, recorded on uh, Frankie Justin's Tidal Wave album, and that's If My Guitar Could Talk. And if I'm not wrong, wrongly mistaken, I think that was recorded back there in 2015 of um, Frankie Justin's Tidal Wave album, which, of course, um, if um, you want to get a copy of that one, I think that's there available there on iTunes. I think uh, a few of those songs are available there on the iTunes, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that one there anyway. Uh, it's 36 minutes past 8. Well, I'm delighted to now welcome um, American country artist Frankie Justin on to the program. So, uh, very good um, evening, Frankie, and welcome here on to the program. Oh, thank you so much, sir. How are you doing? I'm all right. You nearly blown my ears <laughs> off. 
Um, uh, for those, of course, uh, of course, uh, the last time we spoke to you, um, you had just released um, your Summer Lover EP there. Um, uh, for those of maybe um, missed the interview back there in April, um, just uh, just tell us just a little bit about yourself. All right. Well, uh, like you guys know, my name is Frankie Justin. I am an 18-year-old uh, American Nashville country music artist. And uh, I've been writing and recording in Nashville since I was 11 years old. Um, and going on tour, I now have a record deal out of Nashville with SMG. And I've really been hitting the road. I've been doing a lot of radio tours, um, touring the U.S., and um, promoting my new single, Summer Lover, to radio, which is uh, 115 on the U.S. charts this, uh, on the U.S. Music Road charts this week. We just got the news today. Yeah, that's good. Um, how has it been so far on the road, um, like um, doing everything you're doing, um, going to all those fancy places over there in the United States? Uh, you know, we've been really having a blast on the road. Um, my last tour was about 10 days long. I kicked it off in Nashville, and I went through the southern U.S. and Midwest U.S. through uh, – places like Missouri and Kansas and Iowa and Nebraska. And I got to meet a lot of great people, a lot of great stations. And uh, it's really fun. We did 5,000 miles in 10 days. So we've just been we been hitting it. Yeah, that's that, that's great. And uh, your song off the brand new album that you got, um, I think it's called Now's the Time, I think. Um, uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, the song Down on the Farm, that's a very popular song, which um, is a great uh, song, which uh, gets requested um, all the time here on the station. So uh, just tell me just a little bit about the song and how you came to record that song, Down on the Farm. All right. Well, that song, uh, I had my first publishing deal out of Nashville with a uh, great man. He actually was a Grammy Award winning producer, uh, Brian Fisher. And he gave me my first publishing deal. So after I got my deal, that was the first song I sat down and wrote um, within the deal. And so I wrote that song oh, within about two days, two, three days, you know, of a couple hours, different, couple hour sessions. And then I kept it for one of uh, my albums, which is now me and my band Rough Stock worked it up. And we put it on uh, the Now's the Time album, which we recorded. We recorded this record. Uh, when I talked to you last, when we had our April interview, I was actually in the studio parking lot. Um, I just got done cutting that song. And um, that's the story about it. It's all just about having fun on the farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, you write your own songs, don't you? Yes, sir. Yeah, pretty much all the songs I do are written by me. <laughs> yeah. And uh how hard is it to uh, write your own songs there? How hard is it? Yeah. Um, well, you know, like everything, it takes practice. It takes doing it over and over again. Uh, it takes time, and every song is different. It could be, you know, a song could be written in an hour, or a song could be written in a month, you know, of, of, of different hour sessions, you know. Um, it just is all dependent on the song. It's really all dependent on the song, but uh, it's just fun to me. You put a lot of hard work into it, a lot of learning, a lot of research, and a lot of um, work ethic, but it's fun to me, so it's it's not work. <laughs> yeah, it's fun, just like it's fun yeah. with me presenting my shows here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, um, when you write your songs, where do you get the ideas from um, to um, maybe come up with them? song that you put together where'd you get the ideas from it's all different you know that's again song to song but you know it could be somebody says something like somebody says a line and i'm like it's a good it's a good song line i might make that a song title <laughs> and then um the others it could be um really any inspiration i might just be sitting there okay i have my book in front of me what are some ideas i can have for songs so I just start writing down some ideas. And then um, that's really just where I come out of it. And then I just try to craft a story out of those ideas and um, make it into a fun story that you can sing. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, well, we're going to go and um, play one of those tracks now from the uh, Now's the Time album. And uh, then uh, we'll be back with some great more um, stuff um, from you um, when we come back. Thank you so much, Declan. Yes, feeling the weekend here on Sunshine Radio UK. That is, of course, uh, Frankie Justin, who, of course, we welcome back on the back on the line. Welcome back to the show, Frankie. All right. Welcome back to the show, Frankie. Thank you, Declan. Thank you so much. Yeah. I forgot to put your uh, level up again and... Uh, <laughs> No problem, no problem. Yeah, no one could hear what of what you were saying. <laughs> yeah, um, that song "Fully in the Weekend," of course, uh, is a great song because, of course, we are just approaching the weekend um, here, and uh, so it's a lovely song to start the weekend off with. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, I, when I sat down to write that song, I just wanted to write a fun song that was. Um, just a fun song for the weekend, you know? So that's kind of what me and uh, my co-writer, Matt Biro, we sat down like, let's write a good, fun song. <laughs> yeah, and it's a lovely song. 
Uh, oh, thank you, Doc. Yeah. Uh, would you just tell us maybe about a few more of the other songs that are on the album there? Uh, maybe uh, the other songs that are there. Yeah, definitely. So, um, cross that line. So you were talking to me a little bit earlier about, like, how long is it to write songs and what is it? And, um, like, how hard is it? So cross that line, one song I wrote on the record, took, I really just concentrated and took my time and went, really analyzed this song. And it took me about a month of many sessions um, every day or every other day of really just going into it. I wrote the song myself. And uh, when I came out of it, I was very, very proud of it, how it, you know, was crafted and everything. So that one took a long time. But then songs like Now's the Time, um, we came up with a good groove and a good melody. Matt and I wrote it. We wrote it in about two sessions, uh, two, like, two, three-hour sessions. And we love how just the groove and the, the melody came out. We really had a fun time writing and recording that song. And Now's the Time is uh, probably my favorite one on the record, between that one and Feeling the Weekend. Those are my two top favorites. Yeah, and uh, those are my favorites as well. Awesome, awesome. Glad to hear it. Yeah, yeah. They're always on the playlist down um, down on the farm and Feeling the Weekend. What? Thank you so much. Yeah. We play down on the farm during the week, and then we'll play filling the weekend at the weekend. Oh, that's awesome. That mm -hmm. is awesome. Thank you, Declan. And I wanted to thank you guys, Declan and everybody at Sunshine Radio, for supporting me and my music. It really means the world. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Um, Frankie, would you mind maybe um, maybe uh, do a uh, maybe a live version of one of the songs? Yeah, I would love to do a song off the record. Um the one I'm going to do is called uh, Cross That Line, if that's all right with you guys. Yeah, any, and, any um, song. You know what? Actually, let me do Down on the Farm. Yeah, go on. I will play Down on the Farm for you. And here we go. This one is called Down on the Farm. Thank you so much for all the support. Do this song acoustic. It's Saturday night. Got my good time on high. Gonna grab my girl who rocks my world. Roll out past the city night lights. She loves to go where the white cotton grows. When the moon comes out, she comes unwound All of me like an old ranch rope Riding through the pasture, she's screaming to go faster Down on the farm Racing past the barn, saying let's get louder Ain't nothing better than being Down on the farm down on the farm Girl, you feel so right Right by my side Got your arms wrapped around me nice and tight How I love this countryside Riding through the pastures You're screaming to go faster Down on the farm Racing past the barn, saying, let's get louder. Ain't nothing better than being down on the farm. Down on the farm. Making donuts round the silo, you're driving me wild. I can see it in your eyes, don't want the sun to rise. Honey, neither do I. Riding through the pasture, she's screaming to go faster. Down on the farm, racing past the barn, saying, Let's get louder. Ain't nothing better, ain't nothing better, ain't nothing better than being. Down on the farm, 
Down on the farm. Down on the farm. Hello. Well, there we go. Uh, that's a <laughs> lovely song there. That's a lovely song there. And yeah, I enjoyed that. Thank you so much, Declan. I was there tapping my feet away. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Glad to hear. Well, uh, Frankie, uh, thank you for um, taking your time out to uh, come here on the um, station and... Um, um, yeah, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and... Come. Hey, Declan, thank you for taking the time out of your program all the time for playing my music, and thank you for taking the time for this interview, and I hope you have a great day. Yeah, and uh, just before I let you go, um, just a few people, of course, have um, um, sent their messages in, and uh, they just want to say hello to you, so I'm just going to read out a few Definitely. names. Definitely. Uh, we got our very end, of course, Slim Robbins, who, of course, you know already, um, who's uh, asked me to say hi to you. Hey, hope you guys are doing good. <laughs> uh, we also got, of course, uh, Stephen Howell, who I think is uh, tuned in. I think he's from some somewhere in England. Uh, I'll definitely get it wrong. So Stephen Howell wants to say hello to you. Oh, Stephen, hope you're doing good. Thank you for all the support. And of course, we got a regular listener, Paul Griffin, and we also got Rosalie Moore, well, both, both both in Northern Ireland, who want to say uh, hello to you. Awesome! Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a stellar day. <laughs> and of course, we do have, of course, of course, you know, Michael, Michael over there in um in the Republic of Ireland there. So uh, he wants to say hello to you as well. Hey, hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good. Good hearing from you. Yeah, and he also wants to say thank you, thank you for um, doing the uh, live the live uh, song down on the farm because that's his, one of his favorite songs, and uh, he was hoping that you would uh, um, sing down on the farm on the live version. So, uh, yeah. Well, that means a lot. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like the song. Yeah. No doubt, you got it. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you again, Frankie, for um, taking time out of your busy schedule to come on the program. And uh, hopefully, maybe when you release another song, we'll um, have another chat. Sounds good, sir. Thank you, Declan. Yeah. Uh, Frankie, we're going to finish off the interview with um, the um, a song, which is um, number two on the new album called Ain't Nothing Wrong. Uh, would you like to um, introduce the song? Um, and thanks again for um, taking the time out to come on the station. Thank you, Declan. I would love to do that. This song is a song I wrote with Matt Bureau. Um, we love how it came out. And, you know, um, we just thought, you know, with so much crazy stuff that's always happening, you got to just sit back, relax, and know that ain't nothing wrong. Hope you guys like it. This is my record, Ain't Nothing Wrong. Anything. 